A new feature has been brought to Blender and this one is a must in lighting, it's called light linking, this will make it possible to include and exclude light on certain objects. Blender just dropped this in the new 3.6 beta version, so let's take a brief look on it. What I need you to do first is to go to Blender main site, go into the download section, scroll down to experimental versions, on the top bar, go into the branch, the you will find the light linkings version, a bit hidden, but once you're there, just select it and download the file, and I think there's no need to set up anything. So let's open it to see what's new here. In this beta version, if we select a light source, and go to the data properties, first you won't see any difference since we are still on every engine, so switch to cycles. The shading tab will appear, inside the properties section, the you will find both the light and shadow linking, now how to work with it is quite easy, however, let me first create a basic scene with some lights so we see in a simple way what this new feature can do, I will add simple mesh objects and a plain floor to see the shadows on it, and you should do the same to follow with us, once we are done with the mesh, let's select the light and make it into area lamp, and fix the power cause 1000 for an area lamp is a bit much. After that, let's make a copy from this one, using opposite colors can make this clear, so go with whatever color you want to lit this, blue and orange is fine with me, and let's name each one in the layers. Now this is the default lighting that you would expect from a scene like this, two lamps casting lights on all the objects in front of them, a basic illumination. However, with the new light linking feature, we can select any of those lights, the orange one maybe, then in the object properties, open the light linking subtab, and you have two options, you either make your own collection, or they make it for you, so for example, if we want to cast this orange light on the cube only, we can hit new, and this will generate a light linking collection, inside this area in the linking tab, you can drag the cube from the layers and drop it there, now the only object getting the orange light is the cube, and this will affect the direct light, that's why the sphere have a bit of orange on it since this bounced from the cube, so it control the direct light only, I don't know if they consider this an error or not. We will see that once they drop the 3.6 version. The other way where you make your own collection is easier, you have any set of objects in the same collection in the layers section, so now with the blue light, you don't need to hit new, and just select the collection you made. Place any number of objects in it, and that's changeable at any time you need to include or exclude anything in the scene. Near each object in the light linking tab you will find a lamp icon, with it you can turn off any object from the light linking collection. The shadow linking tab is the same process, and I will add a new spotlight just to make it more clear, so turn those off, and place a lamp over those objects to cast some shadows on the floor, and that should be enough. Now as before, we can select the lamp, go to the shadow linking tab, and either use a collection you have, or hit new to make a shadow group, whatever you place there, will be included in the light and once you turn it off it will be excluded. A small example of this feature, if we have a scene and we want to highlight a certain area, whether it's a sofa fabric or a piece on the wall, still we don't want to add extra lamp cast on the entire scene, we can use the new linking feature, say like here, I want to add more light to the sword from the emitter part, but I don't want to burn the wall. What I can do is add an area light casting toward the object, 
then in the data properties, using the light linking, we can only include the sword in this light, pretty simple, and this feature is available almost in every 3D program, so Blender been late for around 8 years on this one, and though it's outside the realm of reality since lights should affect all objects in its path, this new tool can help artists and is much needed in Blender work. Hope they keep working on it more before adding it to their main version, and though it's simple, I think beginners can see it a bit confusing between those tabs, so maybe they can drop it on the fast search or make it like a separate tab similar to many add-ons in Blender. And that's it. Hope you find it useful, like the video if you're still here, and check out my latest collection of free add-ons, it should pop up at any moment. See you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.